Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a bit uncertain kind of episode, uh, which we didn't expect it. So anyway, guys, welcome to the Urka Show on Urka's TV. Uh, this is Vish and this is Nikon uh, from Urka's Property Group in Dharma. Um, we didn't know until last night that we're gonna reopen. I well expected that Mr. Daniel Andrews will definitely extend the lockdown. What do you think? Are you happy about it? Mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. Uh, I had a really good five days break. I was sick for a couple of days. Did the COVID test too. Uh, I, should, I should be standing like one foot five. I was negative. Okay, whatever. I was negative. Uh, so, uh, there was very, as I said, it's very uncertain that we have to come this morning and start the office and run the business as usual. Uh, it's a good thing, but yeah. Uh, so that teaches us a lot, Neha, about its life is very uncertain. Absolutely, I think it's it's not just about life, even person is uncertain. Yeah, uh, are you giving me yeah. any hints? No, no. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I agree with you. It's a lot of uh, uncertainty around the globe at the moment on um, many things such as vaccine, um, such as what businesses, you know, should run, should run not run. Uh, head going out, the one rule is still there, which is going out, outdoor and indoor, wearing a mask. Uh, however, we are in the close proximity, that's why we are not wearing a mask, but when we go out, we do wear a mask. I think it's, it's like that thing that you're not even sure that we're not going to get into lockdown again. So, True. So be prepared. Be prepared. Uh, but on that note, of course, when we starting uh, after a five days lockdown, uh, there's one good news with, with us at the moment is uh, someone joining us today uh, uh, who is a, a assistant property manager in our rental department and I'd like to uh, welcome Ritu uh, who has started today. So Ritu, welcome. Yeah, this shows that our team is expanding. So, in the middle. Thank you. So Ritu, welcome to this property group. Thank you so much. How does it feel? It feels great. It feels great? Yeah. I've come back to workforce after two years. I had a baby, I was in a career break, and I'm excited to join the workforce again. That's good. Yeah. How do you feel after being a mother? Oh, it's a totally different ball game. I have, uh, I used to work before, but but now I have to be more organized and mm -hmm. lots more planning after waking up in the morning. First I used to just wake up, come to the office, done. It's but it's not that anymore. So yeah, it's, it's a totally different ball game. Mm -hmm. But yes, it's, it's a new experience, new journey, and I'm excited about Okay. Um, I definitely think that you're going to shine uh, in this role, uh, so all the very best. Thank you. And I'll definitely invite you to come on the OK Show, just you and me, Absolutely. doing the OK Show. Absolutely. On rental versus sales. Yes, that's How does that sound? Exciting. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, so uh, what we want to discuss today is uh, things around uncertainty uh, in the business. Um, I'm sure that during the last 12 months, lots and lots of businesses have gone through such a challenges where they don't know what the picture is going to look like in the next 4 to 6 months or even 12 months, such as retail industry, hospitality industry, and all of them. Uh, however, the government, of course, uh, had a huge support, uh, which is thanks to our federal government for doing that. Uh, but still, I every day I feel that I don't know when there's another new strain is going to come and it's going to spread again and then going to be in lockdown. And at the end of the day, it does affect on economy, but more than that, what we are working in, which is a property real estate market. However, I see the sentiments of a buyer hasn't changed. What do you think? I think one of, if you talk about retail and real estate board, both have boomed up after the lockdown. People who have been saving for so many months mm. have been only buying. There are a lot of brands who have you know, succeeded their sales by 20%. Same goes for real estate. Like when you talk about buyers, you know there's a huge demand for buyers mm. at the moment. And I think two, three days back, I was talking to one of the buyers who wanted to sell and buy something. But he's like, I don't want to sell at this point of time because it's a buyer's market. So they are aware of that fact too, that it's their market at the moment and not the sellers basically. Yeah. I, I agree with you. A lot of buyers has a lot of confidence. They saved up quite a bit of money last year by yeah. staying home, not going out for shopping, not eating, uh, not drinking outside. So of course that saved up quite a bit of money and what they're doing is of course the buyers who have saved up money 
they're ready to buy either the next property or the first house or an investment property. So there's a lot of, all I wanted to pass on the message, even though in the uncertainty times, there are a lot of confidence in the real estate market, which means that if you are in a verge of making any decision, either a buying or selling, uh, it could not be a better time. Uh, because what we know is what is today, we don't know what's gonna happen mm -hmm. tomorrow. True. Uh, so if you wanna do any transaction, do it today. Don't yeah. wait for tomorrow. Do it with us. Do it with us. Yeah, of course. If you're with me. With Ocus. Oh, with Ocus. Sometimes she speaks to Uh Yeah, anything else you wanna No, I don't think so. Is it all? Yeah, all good. All right. Uh, next week we are coming with the other guest. Uh, the company is called Capital for Castles. Uh, we are meeting very, one of my very old friend who is now a very successful finance broker, uh, Mohit and Jody. So it's going to be a very, very informative session. So guys, make sure you come back next week uh, on the Ocus show on Ocus TV, 11.30. Until then, stay safe and wear your mask. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.